We have team coverage from Arvada. Andrea Flores and Connor McHugh have been gathering new information. Andrea live where the procession just passed through. And uh, Andrea, always a sad sight, but uh, an impressive one as well. That's right, Jim, and people from the community, dozens of people lined up at the intersection here at Ralston and Old Wadsworth to pay their respects for the fallen Arvada police officer. We want to show you that video. The procession passed through just minutes ago as the community showed their support for the officer killed in the line of duty. Here's what we know so far. The veteran officer was shot and killed. Police are waiting to release his identity until his family is notified. Now, we also know that Good Samaritan was also killed. Investigators are working to identify that person as well. A veteran officer with the Arvada Police Department was shot and killed. One other person was transported to an area hospital. At this time, we believe this person was shot and killed by the gunman. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims, family, and friends. Now we know the suspect, the gunman here, has been shot and killed. Police will also be releasing that information at a later time. Police also saying that the shelter in place has been lifted and they do not believe there is a threat to the public. We will be gathering more details here at the scene and bring you the very latest tonight at 10. Reporting live in Arvada, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First. Andrea, thanks so much. Right now I want to get to Connor McHugh. Connor, police quickly evacuating people from businesses. You you talked to a few who were there when the shots were fired, and you could tell very shaken by that experience. Yeah, Jim, a lot of this happened right here a block away from us on Old Wadsworth and 57 and just north of there. Uh, that is where there are a number of businesses. There's a wine shop. There's a bakery. And a number of those employees tell us that when this happened, they heard a number of gunshots, did not know where it was coming from. But what they did do was they made sure to get everyone to safety. They grabbed other employees. They grabbed uh, other uh, people in their different shops, brought them to back rooms, brought them to alleyways, made sure they were safe. Uh, and we heard that at everything from the bakery here to another restaurant down there. Uh, again, not many people got a very good look at what happened. Uh, we did talk to two other women who were here getting lunch. They had just met up for the first time here, trying to enjoy the nice weather. Uh, they ended up hearing those gunshots crawling across the concrete and trying to get to safety. It was a very, very frantic moment for them. It was loud. It felt like it was right. It was, it felt like it was right there. fireworks. It was so loud. <laughs> Close by. So, uh, and the, the lady in the, the, that was with us in the, on the patio saw that happened. We figured we were way too close. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just, I'm very instinctual, so I just knew I needed to get down and crawl. We're just grateful. <laughs> We're okay. Grateful for my life. Now you can see the scene here where officers are still processing all of the evidence. You can see some evidence markers there in the distance. They've also been carrying around evidence bags. And one of the, later, uh, the latest developments here is uh, within the last half hour or so, uh, another truck came with FBI evidence team uh, to continue to process this scene. So now we know that the FBI is here on scene. We also know Arvada and a number, number of other jurisdictions are here as well. Uh, live in Arvada, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thanks. Governor Pola sharing a statement today saying, quote, we are quote, closely monitoring the troubling situation in Arvada. My thoughts are with the family and friends of the officer who was tragically killed in the line of duty while swiftly and bravely responding to protect civilians in the area. All the information on the shooting and details about the fallen officer's life when we have it will be updated on our social media pages and our website, cbsdenver.com. And right now, an